I'm purifying, taking away that pain, taking away that pain, make my face like you. I'm purifying, taking away that shame, taking away that pain. You make my love life so beautiful. Purify, you taking away that shame, taking away that pain. Make me just like you. My purifier, taking away that shame, taking away that pain. Make my life so beautiful. My purifier. Taking away that shame, taking away that pain, make me just like you. My purifier, taking away that shame, taking away that pain, make my life so beautiful. My purifier, taking away that shame, taking away that pain. Make me just like you, my purifier. Hey, hello, my viewers. Hello, my subscriber. Hello, my friends, my family, my loved one. Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Thank you so much. All the people that are sharing my video. Those are liking my video, those are subscribing, subscriber for my video. Thank you so much. I love you. My last video, thank you for sharing it. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for everyone. So, my brother, my sisters. So, before I start my video, let me give glory to God. Join me to pray. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you for today. A wonderful day like this. I give you glory. I give you honor. And I give you adoration. Thank you for everything that you have done. All my viewers, all my subscribers, thank you for your protection upon their life. Oh, Lord, King of glory, we are still here today. Britain is by your power, is by your will, Almighty God. Thank you, Father. So I'm going to speak to your children, your people. Oh, God, Father, speak through me, mighty King of glory. Speak through me. Let me speak some, uh, make sense into their, into their life. Let them pick something for what I'm going to say now to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I appreciate you. You're a marvelous God. You're a wonderful God. There is no one like you, Lord. There's no one to compare to you. I appreciate all that you'll be doing in my life and the life of my viewers, the life of my subscriber, the life of my share, my share, my like, the, the one that like my video, even the one that don't like my video. I say thank you for their life in Jesus' name. Amen. So, my viewers, a quick one. You know, my last video, I said I'm not finished talking about my topic. The topic is that I talk about some mistake that we everyone some people make that before they get into marriage at the end of the day they started complaining because they didn't investigate where the man come from or where the woman come from or the kind of the kind the, the way when the relationship how the relationship started they did not make proper investigation and they didn't know where the man come from. They didn't know where the... They might know, but they don't know who is the man and who is the woman. And the kind of family they came from. You know, many people met each other in Europe, met each other in outside Nigeria. They don't know, really know who that person is or her, him or her is. So thank you very much. So this is what I'm secret to talk about today i'm really i'm talking about the women and i talk about the men so i'm going to talk about the men and the women also now because this marriage concerns a man and a woman so you know um some men some boys those days when i was living in europe when i was in europe so the country i was before so i see some boys they're dating a girl. Before they date that girl, 
they want to know how much is the woman account is the girl account so that they will know if they will date her or not so i see some boys saying that uh, i can get a lady just come and get me for free if that lady or that girl does not have money like 20k or like 30k in her account they cannot date not even marry do date her so i believe those things are ignorant without loving the lady without loving the girl and even our women too just see a girl sometimes they see a boy that just come from nigeria doesn't have anything no document nothing they started spending money on that boy because they just want him even if the boy is a young younger is a is very young they will still spend money on that boy so at the end of the day i'm not saying it's not good to if you're into a relationship it doesn't good to help each other yes we help i i i i, I believe when you're in a relationship you help each other but not this way you must they will say i, I was in europe before i know what i'm talking about so they will say the lady doesn't have about 30,000, 20,000, no relationship. At the end of the day, after you eating that money, then the girl now get pregnant. Or the girl is now singing a marriage in your ear. So maybe probably because you don't have document, then you fall into it. Then you, you guys now get married. Then after after all, after a while, you started hating each other because there was no love in the beginning so don't expect that we, the love we, we grow up one day it, love doesn't grow up so if you doesn't love person you doesn't love person there is nothing you can do about it so if you don't love that person you because you marry her or ma you marry him because of money or because you don't have document you want to go and get document from from her or him or him or her so don't expect that love will grow one day love does it grow when you meet somebody and the first time or you meet that person or you live with that person for a while if you doesn't love that person you doesn't love that person love cannot come and grow it automatically because as i earlier said on my last video i said a man before a man approach a woman he saw something in that woman it's not beauty. It's not because you have a, a, a big bumble or you have a big a, 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 a front. No. It's because you have a fine face. It's not that. There is something. When man tell you that this is what I like in your body. He did not find that thing in another woman's body. He find it in your own. And that's what pleased him. And that was giving joy. When it look at that thing in your body, it, the man will be full of joy. Not say because and you don't have that thing that the man like, and you because of money or because you want to give the man document and you tie it down. It doesn't work what that way. Don't expect that a, a, a time goes on. Maybe he might love me later. No. When there is no love for that first day. Love cannot grow again. Or some people marry some people because you have pity for that person. If you marry for pity, you will also go for pity. When the pity fade off, you will go for pity. So that is just the thing. Please, my brothers and sisters, make sure you know what you are doing. Don't carry the way. Don't say because the, 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 your friend is dating that boy or you believe that your friend is more beautiful than you and you want to because you have a little coin, you want to go and collect the boy from her. It doesn't work that way. Or because you see that probably everybody, all the guests in the area now say this guy is good, this guy is good, he's doing it well and you force yourself into the man. Or the man, the man, because you see a lady, he having document, he has a job, 
you just say you just calculate say okay i don't have document this lady we have a job we have a document let me go and marry her or let me go and stay with her probably it might give me document if you go because of that document when you give you the document finish when you get the document you will go because you don't love her because you go there because of that document or you go there because she has a job some lazy men i'm so sorry i'm sorry i'm saying that but i have to say it i'm not trying to disrespect any man some late there are some lazy men they don't want to struggle they don't want to work there are some men who doesn't have document they don't care if you are a woman they have their dignity they have their ego they will hold it they don't care whether you have document or you have a job or you have whatever wherever they are they are they, they are happy they make something out of their life gradually they get document nobody that come to this europe nobody except the lazy one nobody if you don't commit any crime you must one day a solution must come for you to get document but be patient be patient instead of you because of document you go and fall for a woman that you're not supposed to marry to or because of a little money you see in that you see you see in that woman's hand you want to go and marry her by force by fire what is money what is money money that you will spend you will go or what a document is a paper you will get it you will get it one way or the other or if you love this woman love her because you don't go and meet her because of document issue if you love her naturally you are not the one to ask this woman to give you document and show to her that is you are not there because of that document and it will surely give it to you believe me when you love woman and we women we are so kind we can do anything for a man but make sure you are a truthful somebody make sure you go there for your whole heart make sure you see this woman as your loving wife not because she has document you just force yourself into her you want to eat her up tomorrow and the end of the day you break her heart that's not fair it's not good please everyone please i'm just using this to correct all the married men and women that are into this category into this topic that i'm talking about make sure you go to a man or a woman with your whole heart because you love her or because you love him don't because of one thing or the other remember if god doesn't bless a marriage you will struggle in that marriage believe me you will struggle but when a god when a god bless your marriage god said do this two you can be together believe me you will enjoy that marriage marriage is supposed to be sweet supposed to be a something that when other people are looking at you say oh those two oh, my husband and wife you know they will use it to make example in your area please my brothers and sisters let's calm down let's have a patience and let's wait for nobody in this world that does that doesn't have blessing in heavenly place everyone have blessing every woman have a husband every man has a wife but be patient and let God give you your own. Yes. Because I can see many people, many women, many men are shouting in social media, saying sorts of things about their marriage. Imagine we don't even have dignity anymore. Please, my brothers and sisters, let us know what we are doing. 
those that want to get married, the new ones, I believe this video will give you some guideline to follow. Don't follow a man because of one thing or the other. Because you know that man has money. You want to go and eat his money. Please. You can do something on your own. Don't don't say because your friend told you you can you 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 just go and follow that man because of money because some of you listen to a bad friends those friends they are the one to come and break your marriage you know don't let your friends take you away from your husband don't listen to friends outside don't listen to don't listen to side talk outside talk mm. make sure you marry because of love not because of one thing or the other not because you know the man have made money you want to go and eat the man money you don't love him at the end of the day you started going outside and shitting on the man so please as I earlier say, if you are know you are into this category, because I saw so many mistakes that some people make before they get too married. I hear some people saying that I don't love my husband anymore. I don't love my my wife anymore. I don't feel something for him. I don't feel something for her. But because at the beginning, you don't know him. He doesn't know you. You don't know each other. Remember when you love. Love conquer everything. When you love someone, you can do anything for that person. Please, men, stop deceiving women. And women start deceiving men because we deceive ourselves. If you deceive yourself, that deceive will come to a problem, a big problem for you later. Imagine when you are living with someone you don't know. Some people, some women will say, eh, I just realized that the man I got married to is a, 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 uh, he's snoring when he's sleeping. If he's sleeping, he's very snoring. And because of that, I can't sleep. Because of that, I don't love him anymore. Uh, some women will say, I didn't know that the man I married to is a very dirty man. Uh, it, 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 can you imagine what they are saying? If when I hear some women, some girls say something on social media, I feel shame. Please, women, have patience. No matter who your husband is, love him. No matter who your wife are, love her. Love her. Because, because it's not after you gave birth to two, three, three children that you now discover that this is what this is the eh, 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 the bad side of your man. Or the bad side of your woman. When you love someone, you don't see any bad side of her, of him. You don't. You only see everything that he does is good. Because you love him or her. You only see every good. Every good. Even if somebody tells you about this person that this woman is not good, this man is not good. But because you love him, you only see good of him. When you see some women calling their friends, say, say what is coming out of their mouth, telling their friends that so my husband do this, my husband do that, my wife do this, my wife do that. You that you that be you that will be listening to them, you will be ashamed. Please. Some women doesn't have patience anymore. Some men doesn't have patience anymore. Any little, any little thing, 
they're going to social media. Imagine some of them will go and say it in the social media. How they, how they make love with their husband. We don't have, we don't have a court culture anymore. Our culture still remains the same. But some people don't understand what they call culture. Everybody in this world have culture. Even the white people, they have culture. They follow their culture. But we Africans, we don't rest. Because we have culture. We follow our culture. We respect our culture. But because we are in Europe, we don't follow that anymore. We don't do that anymore. Some people will say when we are in, when we are in Roma, behave like a Roma. A Roma. It doesn't work well. well. A, a Roma people, they don't behave the way they behave, they, they respect their culture. Yes, they respect their culture. They did not say because they are in Roma, they will, because you are not living with them, they will start behaving like you. We are always the one that mutate other people. Why are you mutating other people? Why? Because we are in Europe. They say, now we are in Europe. So, if 50-50, man and a woman is 50-50. When you wash plate, I clean, I clean grant. Yes. It's good for a man to help his wife. But not the way some women are taking it. Not the way they are taking it. So, please. Let me end up the video here. I want everyone to be safe. Please. If you know, I'm only, I said before. You are into this category. Fix your marriage. Fix it. Go for counseling. Go and cancel yourself. There's no problem. God cannot solve. It's not social media that will solve your problem. Even if you go to social media and talk and talk and talk. You are just disgracing yourself. You are bringing your family matter out to the whole world to know. It's not fair. God is not happy with you doing that. You are going to church. Even if you don't trust your pastor. I know some pastors make things worse. Because they are not real pastors. Go for counsel. Sit down. Ask God to give you wisdom. How to go about it. Be patient. Be patient. Restart again, as I said in my last video. Restart in my, my first, that's my last video. Restart again. Restart again. Go and start from the beginning. Put it in your mind that you are just started. Made the man, tell the, the man, I said it, I said it. Toast your wife again, engage her again. If you are not get ma if you are not married to her, go and do the necessary thing. Go and marry her. Love her. Practice it. Practice it. How to love your husband, uh, your husband or your wife. Restart. When you both say, "Give me a break," they give each other a break. Sometimes they will travel. This one will go and think about it. The other one will go and think about it. Then when they come back, you will see from there, they start sending messages to each other. This one will see a whole mistake from that travel as he relaxes his brain. He will not get in himself back. The woman too will not sit down and think about where she made a mistake. And they will regain their self back. They start sending each other message. When they come back, you will see the man Take the woman, ask her for a date. Take her out. Put flower everywhere. Put flower everywhere. And our men, I will talk about that next my video. Our men, some of our men, they are not romantic enough. They are not romantic enough. That thing, the key marriage. 
a key marriage. Our men, after the, the, the woman gave birth to a child, two, three children, they don't even be romantic anymore. The name they use, they, they, they normally call you before, they don't call you anymore. Even if the woman feels a new hair, the men, they can't even say, ah, you do your hair today, oh, nice, I love it. Some men don't even tell their wife again, I love you. You need to be romantic, men especially. Both, 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 both the men and women, you need to be romantic. I know these circumstances of uh, Europe, uh, probably here and there, it makes some men forget they are safe. But we, as a wife, that is why we are in there. That is why we, God gives us to them, to be their helper. Renew their brain. Wake them up again. Some men, they only think about money, work, money, work, money. Sometimes we women will be complaining for, because we didn't do our own part. Let us do our part. Let us help them. Because men, they think too much. They have a lot in their head. So let us help them. So that our marriage will be okay.